Okay, so good morning. It is April 21st, 2020 or 421 20. So show me just like we do in our morning meetings. How are you feeling today on the scale of one through five? One being two, three, chilling, neutral, four, pretty good, five, doing awesome. Guys, I gotta be honest with you, I am a like six, seven, eight. I am so excited that you guys are all here and we get to finally meet. I've missed you guys like crazy. Does anyone want to share particularly why they are excited? I'll call on three people. Heck yeah! Why are you five today? I miss my class. Ah, I miss you guys too. You have no idea. And I'm sure that we all miss you too. I'm glad you're here today. Why are you five today? How are you feeling? Good. I'm you. I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. Okay, and then back to you, babe. Would you like to share why you're having a rough start? You don't have to share if you don't want to or if you're just tired. I get it. I know, I miss you guys too. It's that bittersweet of like a one or a two because I really miss you guys, but I'm a five because I'm so excited that I get to see you guys on here. <laughs> we are going into our scavenger hunt. So I'm gonna go to the next slide and it's gonna give you a clue, like find something, hmm, and you have to try go around your room and find something with, with that. So you're gonna find that thing, come back, and then show it to us. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Ready? Find your favorite toy. <laughs> nice, oh my goodness, you guys are on it. We still have 30 seconds to go. Now, we are going to officially move into our lesson today. So we are going to be watching a short video called Piper, and it's a Disney Pixar short film. But we're gonna watch this, then we're gonna discuss some topics and stuff like that, okay? My heart, my teacher heart is so happy. I got 10 kids this time, which is way better than I've been doing. I've normally been getting five, so now with 10, I've gotta see some new faces that I haven't seen in a while. I've tried not to cry. <laughs> I miss my class, guys. It's great to see them online, but it is nothing compared to in person. So now I'll show you the breakdown of what I did my lesson on and I'll share it if you guys are interested. But yeah. Okay, so before I dive into what my lesson was like today, I feel like I need to give you a little bit of an update of what's going on in our district. So everyone gets a packet, but it's more so like they were able to take home their Chromebooks and that way we could do Zoom meetings and stuff like that. But as of right now, there's no set allotted time that we're supposed to, like we're just supposed to reach out with our kids. But right now is one of those times where it's not about academics for me. Like I would love to try to maintain and grow if we could, but if not, I just want to communicate with my students. It is important for me to let them know that I am there for them if they need anything at all. The most students I can have involved, the most I can talk to them, I'm excited about it. So I am doing Tuesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. between 9 and 10 because 10.30 to 11.30 they're supposed to go get their free meals at school. Tuesdays will be more like academics. I'll put together a slideshow. We'll be learning and discussing a lot of things. Friday's mostly just going to be catch up, see if they have any questions on the homework that week. I'm gonna be doing a lot of like flashcards for multiplication division, sight words, and I'm going to be doing a read aloud with our new Flora and Ulysses by Kate DiCamillo. I cannot tell you how excited my kids were when I said, and I'm gonna be doing read alouds. They were like, really? Heck yeah, so we got a new chapter book coming. I'm also going to be including this on my other YouTube channel, Blooming with Ms. B. It's more of my teaching channel I'm sharing with my students and also just any students who would like to be in Ms. B's room. So I'll be doing read alouds on this and posting them there for my students, but also for anyone who would like to read this with us. So there's that. So that's the update. Let me tell you more about what I did today. So there has been so many teachers coming out with amazing resources for distance learning, especially on Zoom and Google Slides and all of that. And I've gotten a couple, I've seen them, I like them, I wanna use them. But I think this is where like I'm a control person. I'm like an all or nothing. Like either you have like the whole thing decked out and I'm doing exactly that or I'm just gonna make my own. All right, so I've gotten two super cute morning slides. The 
first one is actually using in my classroom and then realized I could just turn it on to distance learning. I'll show you right over here. This one is from Teach With Miss Me on Teachers Pay Teachers. It is free. It's editable, so it totally works with like morning workshop and then now this distance learning like schedule and stuff like that. This one, super cute, love it. Another super cute one that I got was from Teaching the Tinies. She just created these, they're super cute. I, I love that it has the word of the day, exercise, mood check-in, all of that. So thank you so much, Teach the Tinies and Teach With Miss Me because you inspired me. So let me bring you on over to my lesson that I did today. First things first, I have a good morning slide. This includes the date, a how are you feeling check-in, and also quickly goes over today's schedule. Next was our scavenger hunt. So I kind of explained what the scavenger hunt was going to be like. They were going to have one minute to find an item that fits the description that shows up on the screen. First one was find something red. I included a little timer at the bottom because I wanted to be able to have a visual and to be able to have those five seconds for them to actually take the time to read it instead of just like trying to guess and rush. So find something red, I'd say three, two, one, and it would start counting down. Next one was find a spoon. They were super quick with this one. Find a penny. We need to go over money. We need to talk about pennies because they were just showing up with coins. Next one, find a pencil. Find your favorite toy. And then we went into our actual lesson for the day. We watched a Disney Pixar short film called Piper. This is by Adrian Bilou. Hope that's how you say your name, bud. Super cute short film. And we also got to tie in some science with it too, as you'll see in a minute. But yeah, so we watched the video together. Then we discussed the character and the story. Did you enjoy this presentation? They were able to just show a quick thumbs up, thumbs down. Of course, they all gave thumbs up because it is such a cute film. Then we talked about the favorite moments and what do they like best about Piper. Moved into describe Piper. What is Piper's personality like? What challenges does she face? How does she change during the film? And then bonus, how do we know these things about Piper even though she doesn't talk? I find that they did have trouble describing what her personality was like, I think because she was an animal. So I had to say like, okay, well, if it was a, a person that was doing these things or doing this, how would you describe them? Um, so that one took a minute, but we got there. Theme. First I had is recall what the theme was. I don't know why I forgot to include the definition of that. But of course we discussed it first anyway. And then from there we went to the questions. What do you think the theme or message, hint, hint, of this film is and why? What does Piper learn during her adventures on the beach? And what advice do you think she would give another baby bird who was just leaving her nest? I love that question. It was such a good question. Really makes them think outside the box. You don't only see those types of questions, or at least I don't. But yeah, these were all really good questions. And I actually got them from this website. So this website, it's all about Piper and it's a classroom guide. It was free. It literally gave me the questions for the characters and story. Context, I didn't get super into that. That was more the science that I included in a minute. And then style, message, media literacy. So overall, I loved this. This was amazing. So from theme, we went into the actual science. Again, I got it from that same website. Piper is based on the, oh, I could not say it then. I'm not gonna be able to say it now. Collegius Albor. Collegius Albor. Collegius Albor. Sticking with it. Collegius Albor Sanderling. But she also has elements of the snowy plover and I know about the snowy plover because of the Pismo Dunes. So I shared that with them and they thought it was super cool that they were located near us. But really cool to bring that science to something they can actually relate to something that's close to home. What did you learn about sandpipers and other ocean birds in this presentation? This I thought was way more complex than what it just needed to be. For me, I just kept it really simple as like, well, describe their habitat. Where do they live? Um, how do they get their food? What did you learn about the habitat of the sandpiper and the snowy plover? I probably should have switched those, but we went over it anyway. Really like being able to tie in this science. Then we dove into homework questions. Which subject is the most challenging? Because my kids will not tell me this is challenging and I know it's challenging because we got the packets from a bigger district that just supplied them for us. I know they're struggling, but they will not come forth. So for now, I just asked them which subject is the most challenging and they had to show me a book a math, so addition or multiplication, just to get a general consensus, and then writing. But for me, I'm just gonna take it, run with it. All right, so that was my presentation that I gave today. And again, here's my resources. That is not the updated version. Here's the updated version. I will link them down below. Also, if you are interested in this lesson, please let me know. Comment down below, email me, or follow me on Instagram, send me a DM, and I will just send it to you. Oh so yeah, that was my first distance learning class. There's still very much a lot of mixed emotions. But today was a good day, I'll take it. And there's a lot of good things going on if we just open our eyes and look. All right, so I'm gonna stop rambling now. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.